Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares and it is time to share a little Black Friday fun I guess. Um, although I don't find Black Friday very fun. Uh, to be honest, um, when it comes to Black Friday I try to avoid the, st the stores as much as I can. I really do hate crowds. Um, but I did eventually wander off into a couple stores over the weekend um, as far as early shopping on Thursday Thanksgiving Day absolutely avoided uh, all of the stores as a matter of fact I didn't walk into a single store until uh, Friday evening um, and that was to go to Walmart um, and I wanted to pick up a few things um, hoping that maybe some things were still available with uh, some of the movies there were some good deals that were out there but I wasn't going to go fight the crowds in order to find out what was available uh, but anyway I'm going to show off some of the things I did pick up at uh, Walmart I did wander off uh, to one of the local malls um, and uh, picked up some things from the local comic book store and uh, had some uh, um, pops that I picked up from GameStop and uh, I will show those in another video I want to keep try to keep this short and sweet um, but uh, most of my shopping like I said um, I did I've uh, for, for Black Friday for Christmas I've done online but did wander out in stores for a couple things um, anyway uh, what I found uh, at Walmart um, what was left of the videos that were there um, were some pretty good deals I am a big uh, Walking Dead fan um, I've watched most of the shows um, I th what I haven't seen I've managed to catch online or uh, managed to uh, <laughs> get from uh, from the comic books themselves or from from um, spoiler sites and things like that uh, but um, I don't actually own any of the seasons of The Walking Dead and it, I could just could not pass up the deals uh, they had at Walmart uh, the first uh, three seasons of The Walking Dead on DVD for seven bucks a piece um, normally they sell these things for like uh, about 30 bucks for a season but um, with a promo for the um, Black Friday they were offering these first three seasons and I picked up um, season one two and three all for seven bucks a piece so now I can watch it whenever I want to don't have to worry about what's on TV or not just pop them in and watch them once again that was uh, season one season two and then season three of The Walking Dead all for seven bucks a piece which was a pretty good deal and then uh, after that the uh, they had four five and six was gone um, but uh, uh, when he got to four and five they kicked those up to ten bucks a piece which I still think is a pretty decent deal I was able to pick up season four for ten bucks and one of my other shows that I like to watch on t uh, on TV on because uh, this actually does not is not available on Netflix uh, but I have uh, rented them haven't actually owned one because once again it's, it's ex they tend to be fairly expensive um, regular price but um, I picked up the first season of the Game of Thrones also for ten dollars they were offering up uh, first five I think but this is the only one that was left by Friday night so I picked up the first season of this as well I figure five seasons worth of TV plus what I watch on Netflix and uh, that is enough to keep me busy for a while anyway now as I'm wandering around Walmart um, once again we're saying it's about 24 hours after Black Friday has started because Walmart basically was open 24 hours a day all the way throughout even on Thanksgiving but um, they started their sale at 6 o'clock on Thursday now if you wander out to the stores I was not expecting 24 hours later to walk into a Walmart especially in the little town that I live in and to find one of these 
available. I wasn't looking for this. I had no intention of buying it. And uh, um, as I was walking down the aisles, the chaos of, of Walmart, after everybody's gone through there, um, all the aisles are strewn with these carts full of stuff that needs to get put back where they belong because they've been scattered all over the store. I'm walking by a cart and I see out of the corner of my eye this sitting in one of those carts. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, it must be fate because like I said, I wasn't looking for it. I wasn't planning on buying it. But the fact that there was still one available uh, and I just happened to see it. And it is, like I said, sitting in one of those carts, I was expecting it to be crushed or after Black Friday, but it's actually, uh, the way it was sitting in the box, there was nothing that was actually sitting on top of it. Uh, the items above it were keeping this safe. But I thought since it was there, I would get it. Now this is not going to be a surprise. These have been opened up uh, all over the net. This is a one and done deal that you didn't have to buy, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these things to get various pops and things. Everything in here is the same in all the boxes. Um, but I do have to say I have to agree with some folks that went out and picked these up that when Funko designed the box here, you have uh, DC characters, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Robin, Green Lantern, all on this box here, Flash. Um, and it's kind of misleading because there's only one franchise truly represented in this box. Um, but, like I said, I thought I would get an opportunity to, since it was there, I'd grab it. These are all warm Walmart exclusives. Um, I wanted to get the pop, but wasn't going to buy the, you know, go out of my way to try to get this box for that reason. Um, we have the Harley Quinn Impopster, the keychain that's in here, which is basically a uh, mini version of the uh, Funko Pop of the Harley Quinn Impopster, which is kind of cool. We have a Dorb, and honestly, I'm, I have a giveaway right now that I'm going to be doing a drawing for on Friday. And um, I bought the Dorbs that I'm giving away in that because I wanted a discussion about. I know a lot of people have um, their pros and cons as far as the uh, Dorbs are concerned. Some like them, some don't. Um, and I wanted to hear what people's thoughts were on that and also wanted to also see what uh, other people's ideas of some obscure comic books that could be turned into movies and what they could be. Uh, what they might find some interest in. So they thought they were going to need, but um, the reason why I'm saying this is those four dorbs I picked up are I bought to give away. Um, I had no intention of keeping them. Uh, I was showing my appreciation to my subscribers, but I don't actually own any of my dorb, any dorbs of my own. Um, I just haven't come across any that um, I was interested in. But, as part of this package here, we get the Batman Two-Face, which is pretty cool. Harvey Dent, the split image, and I, I think they're doing a better job with these, especially on, here, let me pull him out of here, um, especially on, like, some of the accessories and hair and things like that to give them some more detail, to give them some more depth. To give, the, to give these dorbs a little more character. Um, so I'm starting to enjoy them a little more myself. That was my problem with them is is they are they're just like the minis and things that you can get the the mini collectibles. Uh, um, but uh, like I said, if you look at this, they've actually done a really good job on sculpting of the hair here and detailing in the scarring on the one side as well, which I really actually kind of like. So, happy to get this. And once again, it's also a uh, Walmart exclusive, which is cool. And then the one true mystery in the box, unless they've done what they did with uh, the, uh, I think there are different ones. 
these are the pint size heroes it, and there's a number of different ones I don't know if this is being a Walmart exclusive that there's only one in here or if there's only one line in these and I think maybe it is because I've seen I have the pint size blue Batman which I kind of like because that's actually the the, uh, the 1960s retro look of him actually he's got the Actually, I like that one. Set him over there. And, of course, last but not least, is the Walmart exclusive in Popster Killer Croc. Which is a really good design as well. And this is kind of the uh, unofficial one in the line as well. If you look at all the ones that are there. This is also the Walmart exclusive, and you have the uh, toothy grin on him with the scales. I'm gonna be careful with the box here. There we go. Get him out, show him off. said I think that's a pretty good design I'm not I think if you got one Batman you've got them all in in, in some ways um, I don't have any intention of picking up the rest of the line um, I do like some of the characters I just I, I like this because it's got a, a different detailing on it with the, the the toothy grin and the scaling and the coloring in that but some of these for me the are just just there's not enough design there to, to differentiate from one to another and it's all the same sculpt and it's all just different variations of color which doesn't do enough for me if I want Harley Quinn I'm gonna get Harley Quinn if I want the uh, Riddler I'm gonna get the Riddler uh, but once again this was a, a special uh, Walmart exclusive with all of these four different items in the box I enjoyed picking it up because I had no intention of picking it up when I went to Walmart on Black Friday uh, or I should say, well, hey, I went there on Friday, but it was Friday night. Um, never expected to see it or even pick one up, but since it was there, I got it. But hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be uh, making a few more videos with some of the things that I have coming in the mail that I picked up over Black Friday and also the uh, pops and things that I picked up over the weekend as well. But for now, thank you for watching.